playful playground part three so this is the real fun part this is where you get to be creative so as you can see I have my base I have my strips I decided to use scrapbook paper and solid construction paper and now I want to turn something that's two-dimensional flat into something that is three-dimensional so let's take a look when you were little in kindergarten I'm sure you made something called paper chains I know I used to do it with my kindergartners how do you make a paper chain well I turn my rectangle actually into a ring. How do I do that? With just a little bit of glue. Now you can use tape if you don't have glue, but if you're gonna use tape, obviously you want it to be neat. I just put a little bit of glue and then I fold on top or overlap one end of the circle to the other and I hold it there and you get your ring. So I did one already that stuck together. Um, what if I want to make a triangle? Well, triangle is like the same type of concept as your ring, only triangle has three sides. So you want to fold it in the middle and you can fold it again and you could actually fold it again and you can overlap the bottom for the triangle. So I could put a little bit of glue. Obviously, neatness always counts. So little dots of glue and overlap. And there's my triangle. And I can do the same thing for a square, where I would have four sides, or you could, depending how you look at it, you can also use a diamond. I wouldn't glue them on yet, though, because composition really plays a heavy part in your project, where the artist places things on the page. So you might want to make all your pieces first and then hold off. Now, if I wanted to make, let's say, a smaller ring, same kind of concept, same idea, but I just cut my strip smaller. Now I can make that ring again. And now I have large and small. That always makes a project interesting varying the size. I could also put another ring through one and now it can be free form and floating or when I glue the ring maybe I put it inside or again depending on placement. Um, when you were younger you might have made a paper fan. What we call that is an accordion fold. So when you do an accordion fold that's when you take your piece of paper you fold it up and flip it over and then you fold it going up again, the same size. The idea is always to flip it and fold it to the same size. Keep going until you're done. And then you get something that looks like this. Obviously, the bigger the space I have in each fold, you could experiment with that, so taller or shorter. And again, where am I gonna glue that? I can even connect it to something else. So as you see how it starts to really look like a playground, that's where it gets its name from, or even, I don't know, almost looks like uh, an amusement park, like a roller coaster. Uh, you can make a semicircle with some of your strips. So semicircle is the same idea as your ring, but instead of connecting one side to the other, you make these little foot or feet or what I call tabs and you glue them down and there's your semicircle. You also have the option of making the feet go towards the inside of the shape instead of the outside. You can do a semicircle. I could put a bend here and then it automatically turns into a triangle or I could put two bends and now I get either a rectangle or a square depending where I put the bends. One of the other things you might want to try is curling your paper. If you've ever uh, curled a ribbon before, that's when you open up the scissors. I lay my thumb on top of the paper, not on the blade, and I pull it through and I get a curl. If you're not really good at that, my kids sometimes struggle, you can always wrap the piece of paper tightly or loosely around your pencil and you get that same idea of the curl. So there's lots of things you can do with the paper and folding it, curling it, wrapping it, the way you glue it, all those things are being creative. So let's see what ideas you can come up with. Once you have all your strips gathered, then you can start to think about that composition. Where am I gonna place things on the page to make this look really interesting? I could have things overlap. 
I could have things go inside another. I could have things all by themselves. So what are you going to do? Think about repetition, right? Repeating colors, lines, or shapes. When you repeat something, it unifies your project. Think about <clears throat> contrast. That might make something interesting. Think about emphasis. What do I want people to focus on? Is there something I want them to focus on? Like, let's say, all my strips are just my scrapbook paper, and then I have this one red one. Do you have to do emphasis? Absolutely not, but it's something to think about. So have fun making your creative playground. Be sure to check out the materials and the project requirements so that you have everything you need. Good luck.